Dr. Nyambane, similar facts, similar circumstances, was cleared. The first candidate to be cleared on same letters that we have, same circumstances, same university, same commission of university education. How then can they turn around at this point to say that we don't have a university degree? The wording of the law is university degree or its equivalent, the equivocation part of it. If you've not done your graduation, graduation is a ceremony, but you're already qualified. You've met the equi equivalent qualification to have a degree. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Willis. Thank you all of you for being here. Let me say very clearly, I think enough has been talked about uh, in relation to why we are being rejected. And I want to assure Kenyans, especially my supporters, that we have qualified according to the constitutional laws of this land in full. We have finished our university education and completed successfully. We submitted more than 25 counties of signatures and in it we also attached our IDs. We have been here on a pre-qualification exercise, pre-nomination exercise. And during that exercise, up until Saturday, we were told everything that we have presented is okay. But somewhere, there seems to have been a decision made that we must find, or they must find, any excuse to keep us out. I want to inform the commission that we know what's going on. We know exactly what is going on. And unfortunately, this time, you will not get away with it. There seems to be a very clear decision that there are people who must not be on the ballot, and I am one of them. I want to assure Kenyans that I will be on the ballot for the August 9th general election. I will be on the ballot, notwithstanding the kind of shenanigans you are seeing here. Because Kenyans are faced with this choice. We are faced with an economic question a question that is beleaguering our nation, a question created by the very architects who are trying to keep us out of this race. Ten years ago, a virus called Uhuruto was born to this nation. It has plagued us. Five years after that, it became Jubilee, and today it has mutated into Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa. This virus inherited a country that had a 38% poverty, 38 poverty rate. 38 out of every 100 Kenyans 10 years ago could not find food. Within five years, that number had turned to 53 of every 100 Kenyans not having food in their belly. 